All right, this is a 95 Geo Metro. I've got uh, a couple switches in here. Um, coolant temperature switch trigger and air intake trigger. Over here is my EFI trigger, so that tricks the O2 sensor. What I'm going to do is do a cold start. <coughs> um, it's not real cold outside, it's about 60 degrees, but you'll get the picture. So first of all, I'm going to trick the coolant temperature sensor and gallons per hour, which is lower left hand side here. Should start out around 0.6 gallons per hour and it will drop down pretty significantly. Also the idle will drop down. So here we go. Cold start. Gallons per hour 0.6 or so. Flip the switch. Drops way down. Idle. Drops way down. Starting to die a little bit. So I'm going to flip it back on. So now it thinks it's cold again. Pops it back up. Flip it again. Drops way down. I'm going to go ahead and flip the air intake now. So I got it back on the cold. Let it settle for a little bit. Flip the hot air. Not a huge difference. Not really much of a difference at all. It's cold. That's hot. So it drops down a little bit. Cold. Hot. Now the EFI, we'll see what happens with the EFI. Takes a little bit for it to ramp up. Steady at 0.36. And now it went up a little bit with it off. On. Still trying to get the EFI dialed in, but it is dropping a little bit. We'll flip the coolant switcher on again. Drops way down. You gotta love that. I got the hot air on and coolant temp sensor trigger on. It should eventually uh, settle down to about 0.17. Got the EFI, coolant, and hot air on right now. So EFI off, cold air on, and trigger back to normal. And there you have it. Stuff works. So keep you guys posted and keep tricking.